Hello friends, uh, welcome back to another Quantar video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to discuss how we can use the custom volume profile along with footprint charts to identify zones where we need to take our positions and where we need to avoid. So uh, as you can uh, notice that the, the, these days, uh, the markets are hugely and extremely volatile. So it's best to be positioned in such a manner that uh, you make sure that you are not caught on the wrong side. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, since the sh falls and the uh, rises are quite steep like this, if you see uh, like this. So there are places and zones where you wouldn't want to be there. Uh, for example, uh, the current zone that we are in here, it is right in the middle. So uh, it's very difficult if you uh, we're talking about positional trading or swing trading or even intraday trade, uh, which you intend to hold for four to six hours. It, it doesn't make sense to take positions for uh, maybe uh, down or to the upside at this moment because we are at the center of the uh, range that we can see uh, in this particular chart. So what we'll do is we'll use uh, the custom volume profile to find out the range that can really help us decide where to go, how to go about it and then finally use footprint charts to further dwell into uh, these areas. So uh, whenever you see a steep rise or fall uh, like this, uh, obviously there has been aggression shown by one side or the other. So what we generally try and do or what I uh, generally uh, like to do is whenever I see some sort of aggression like this, for example, let me expand the chart. Uh, for example, something like this, if it is a gap up or uh, let's consider the latest one, something like this. What I will try and do is I will use a, a custom profile uh, for this particular uh, move to the upside okay because generally I'll just explain what happens in the markets is uh, so you, how can you do this you can go where select custom profile and just uh, drag and drop like I just did and uh, finally adjust this uh, number of ticks to 100 so that you get a better view of the volume that is uh, transacted in this area and you can hover around here and what you'll find is uh, you can extend the POC ray which will just show up like this and you can also uh, show the volume area or I mean not display it uh, something like this okay so what you get over here is when you have a chart like this is uh, straight away I get a view that we just saw there is a range that has been transpiring in, in the market for the past few days I can straight away see some uh, good volume nodes that are uh, placed some one one is here the other one is here from where the market has gone upside and is transacting within this now how do we identify uh, places where we can go short or long so this obviously would have been uh, the all-time high so to short this is doesn't make sense but what if I told you you could have known uh, not to go long at this point the other tool that I try to use at this point is the custom VWAP or the anchored VWAP so what I do is whenever I see a move like this I just plot it from here and uh, you can see what uh, goes on here now what is interesting here is uh, the standard deviation that comes into play okay so whenever I am approaching this zone I uh, get an idea that it is it doesn't make sense to actually uh, go long over here and it would rather be uh, helpful if I can find a short trade somewhere here. Now you can go ahead and check this on all time frames. It works even on a five minute chart if you're looking at intraday time frame. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, in some time uh, look in deeper into uh, let's say five minutes uh, within an intraday or 15 minutes after we finish with this. So uh, as of now, what I'll try to explain is what is going on over here, okay? So this is the anchored VWAP. Now, whenever you try and find a zone uh, within the footprint chart uh, from where you take a shot, for example, uh, we generally, uh, what we try and do is, if you've taken a shot, we're looking for uh, at least the test of this POC or the anchored VWAP that is followed. Now, these two things, generally act as magnets because this is a lot of volume that is transacted so if the market has moved to one side uh, it will generally try and uh, move back to the POC and uh, the other way around so if it comes to the POC or the anchored VWAP and it breaks it it will generally try and go to the standard deviation so the two places where uh, we could actually have looked into finding a trade is the first one is an all-time high we don't know it's closer to the standard deviation it flips down and it clump, uh, we don't know where it is going to take support, but we have an idea in the sense that these low volume nodes from where we saw one sort of rejection 
could act as a rejection zone it does and this is the zone when it crosses above the anchored VWAP is where we're looking for a long trade so at places like this what we do is we uh, go deep into the footprint charts and see if we could find something there so uh, let's see this day uh, this is uh, I think the 22nd of February so let's get our footprint chart over here okay and this is our footprint chart so this is a 15 minute chart that I have fig uh, configured on nifty futures again so all this is on nifty futures uh, and if you want you can do this uh, same thing on nifty as well in corn tower that is the 50 uh, I mean the spot you can plot the volume on there as well like you can see over there we'll just have a look at that uh, the nifty spot in some time so when is the nifty spot useful uh, as I have been uh, saying all along in my videos that I generally or mostly use nifty futures the only time I tend to use nifty spot or look at its values is when we are approaching the expiry for example like today we had the uh, the 29th of February was the expiry now if I am going into tomorrow uh, there's a rollover and the ne next nifty futures chart will take place and it generally takes two three days to get the volume in place and get the uh, exact levels into place so that is why I uh, tend to use nifty spot at these times to find uh, good areas using volume profile market profile on Quantower, what is good is you can actually go and plot the uh, volume profile on nifty spot as well so that you get a rough idea of uh, where the market or various support resistances are now uh, looking into only this zone that is uh, from the 15th of february to the uh, I think uh, 21st of February we have an idea of what we can expect in the coming few days so I've just drawn the profile for four five six days or rather one uh, week of trading session and I get an idea of what I can expect so when do I change this profile when I see breakdown of this zone so the zone that we considered over here uh, when he had zoomed out is somewhere this is the top and the bottom of the zone if you can go back it's been continuing for a long time now so whenever I see a breakdown of this zone I uh, plot a new profile like this and a new anchored VWAP from the point where I've seen a drastic fall. Now uh, when I see something like this uh, on this day and I see no follow through and I see it uh, breaking and going up I would like to look for a long to the uh, standard deviation or at least to the next high point that is there that is this one. Okay now uh, what do I want to see on a footprint chart uh, I just go into the footprint chart so this is the 23rd of February let's go and see uh, this was the 22nd of February and uh, somewhere close to 10 30 and 10 45 we'll just have a look now even these imbalance zones are uh, of great significance and of great value if you have uh, if you have the proper context in, uh, in I mean in your charts and you plotted them properly so uh, I'll just go down and see what we saw at 1035 so this is the zone where we're waiting uh, that is somewhere close to 22,000 again it's a round number and we'll be waiting around this zone now until this time what we've been seeing is uh, a large amount of volumes that are popping up so the volumes that you see over here again colored by uh, the percentage so the high percentage volumes are colored in uh, magenta uh, the next higher volumes are in cyan and then green and so on and brown so uh, so that I can straight away know where the volumes are dropping now uh, when I'm approaching down uh, what is the basic rule that we look forward whenever we are I mean looking for a trend in a particular direction when we've seen something like this and we're seeing something similar over here what I want to see is whenever we are going down the pullbacks should have lesser volume which does happen over here in this but the down move should have a higher volume for continuation to take place now this rule is applicable on all time frames although we are considering a 15 minute time frame because we're looking at a longer time chart but this is applicable on all time frames on all i mean even on a one minute chart you can find this really really useful this is something from uh, i mean uh, old days as well that is the volume spread analysis which we're going to discuss in uh, in the future on footprint as well so this is one rule that is very simple but it's really really effective so the first thing that we notice over here is while we are going down and i am looking for i mean this anchored vwap touch and the first touch is generally going to give you a very very good uh, trade you can test it out back test it. it it happens a lot of times whenever a move like this happens the first touch of the anchored vwap will give you a very good move the second and the third obviously like support and resistances are not not that strong but even though uh, they might not act as dynamic support and resistances but it gives us a good 
I mean range of where we are like this which we just discussed so uh, going back to this uh, footprint chart what we notice over here is uh, till this part we had a good amount of volume okay so so far so good uh, the pullback had a lesser amount of volume so if you're looking to short on a shorter time frame this is a good place to short but this time when we go down look at this volume this is tremendously low for uh, for any continuation downwards now the zone that I am looking forward is uh, for is that when I'm looking at these charts this high volume chart straight away I just uh, get this rectangle tool out so do you look at this part so this is the highest volume okay that has been transacted what you can do is you can get this right click it and uh, go to settings and just extend it right ray okay so that I have this chart extended till the end okay this zone extended to the end and it is going to be it is going to serve me really good whenever I see this in the future so why have uh, have I done this because this is a huge volume bar and after this I didn't see any volume I saw the volume drying up this was my first indication that I'm going to get a I mean a pullback to the upside and you can finally eventually when this zone breaks where there was the highest volume somewhere here you can plan your long trade uh, with the help of a spread or whatever you like i mean i prefer a spread that is a beer puts i mean a, a, a bull put spread rather so uh, what that is again if you want to know about more about it you can comment and we can discuss it in the future so what happens is <clears throat> you can maybe take the next week of a bull put spread and uh, wait for whenever your target is met and uh, so that there is no pressure of uh, the coming weekly expiry so if for example this i don't know what this day was if this was on a thursday or maybe tuesday or wednesday what you would want is the next weekly expiry uh, contracts to take a bull put spread to the uh, next point and whenever i see this zone crossing like this i generally take my entry and the stop loss is really really minuscule and because if this zone breaks that is 21,950 I'm expecting it to go further down if this zone breaks I can expect it to go almost till this point okay and uh, if not the end of the standard deviation that we're looking at so that is why uh, the stop loss remains small and if it does go down uh, again we can uh, look at planning a short position if we find an entry and the other particular thing that I have uh, find of great interest is this is another high volume node that will act as a resistance over here so your 40 50 points are most likely going to get defended when you take look for a long trade over here now uh, moving on so this is the way you can trade and find good zones now you can straight away uh, see what happens after that and you can also uh, uh, what I would do is let's delete this and go into the recent activity that has been going on like I said uh, what is going on is that the uh, current expiry has just uh, finished on uh, that is today so that is why uh, this anchored VWAP and this thing would not be as usual uh, for the uh, I mean present expiry what you can do is you go to the you can go to nifty spot chart and do that so uh, just for explanation and uh, I mean uh, let's go to the 15 minute chart over here and see if we can find something interesting over here in the recent fall that has taken place so this is a nifty spot chart now uh, when I see a fall like this that has uh, taken place uh, since yesterday let's say 28 February so what we're going to do is we're going to go deeper into the recent activity that has uh, taken place and see if we can find something some zone of important significance so the same thing uh, like what we did we go to the custom profile we start from this place and the fall that has taken place till about today so now what we're looking at is looking at zones that can be of help uh, to us uh, maybe tomorrow or days after that we'll go here and again make it 100 ticks now this is nifty spot so again uh, it couldn't be as reliable but for the for the moment uh, because we don't have the next futures contract that has started that is why we considering spot we go here we extend the POC ray okay so this is the zone now as uh, you can see over here what has happened uh, the I mean today it took resistance exactly from the point the POC and the value area high over here which we generally notice and this is the zone which we need to cross if we need to see any move up till this point now the next thing that we do is we switch on the uh, anchored VWAP like I said which is again going to give us a good range of what can happen 
uh, in the next few days or in the next uh, let's say a uh, week and so you can uh, see over here that the first time the VWAP anchored VWAP is test it again gives you a very good move to the downside. So this is all volume and this is a conference that we generally keep looking for uh, a high volume node coinciding with the anchored VWAP is a very very good uh, I mean test to take a short trade again whatever you like to the other side. Now let us look at what we are presently doing and where we are. If you look at it again this is a zone uh, that has been going on for some time and if we break the zone I think this has been plotted from way back. Uh, let me delete this. So you can go ahead and uh, plot these zones from behind so that you can get these references that I uh, generally try and look for and uh, so that I can get the downside. For the moment if you can see uh, we tried to break this anchored VWAP on the upside and failed. So for instance, tomorrow if uh, we see something like this and the market trying to take support of the anchored VWAP and breaking, so this is where we expect the market to go. So you can see it would be something like this, 21,100, 110 is where you want to go, about 100, 150 points from here. And what you would like to see is something like this that we just saw on the footprint charts. So you can plot the same chart over here and see for any type of, I mean, absorption that has taken place, a drop in volume to the downside and then a push to the upside. Again, uh, when this drop happened, you can see with the standard deviation why we got a resistance from this place. It is exactly similar to Bollinger Bands, just that it is based on volume and the uh, exact volume that is transacting. So hopefully, uh, guys, this was of some help to you guys. Uh, until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.